In last 30 projects of mine, I have done this specific effect in almost every single video for all the high-end videos, music videos, and commercials, and everywhere. This is getting very popular nowadays. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this effect in your camera, first of all. And then if you have a video which is already being shot at 25 frames per second with normal motion blur, how you can create this effect in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, I'm having one of my friends with me who is gonna be walking in front of the camera today. And uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do it in the camera. For the camera settings, I went to the shooting and then image quality and in there I went to SNQ and in SNQ frame rate, not the record frame rate, the frame rate, what I did is I changed it to six frames per second. And then after that, what I did is I went back and I went to the shutter angle and I went to one over uh, 10 uh, shutter angle for me and it worked for me. It was uh, pretty slow. You can go even slower as well. Now, after you have recorded your video, when you bring it in DaVinci Resolve, it will look something like this and you will think it's looking weird, but it's fine because your project frame rate in your timeline and in your camera is 25 frames per second. So you'll have to slow it down because I know that this video is being recorded at 6 frames per second. So what I'll do is I'll just come here. I'll right click on this. I'll go to um, change clip speed and I will bring it to 6 frames per second. There you go and then i will change now when i will play it it's playing normally the way it was uh, being shot now let's jump into the second part where we have a video with 25 frames per second and it's having very normal motion blur and we're gonna create that if i play you can see that it's having no motion blur at all so to create the motion blur first of all we'll have to slow it down and if i will slow it normally it will have frame gaps in uh, between because it was shot at 25 uh, frames per second so i'll just if i go to like 7 and i change it look it's it's stopping because there are no frames to fill in so there is an ai way to do it in davinci resolve 20 which i'll show you now you come here all the way down in retime and scale options and on the retime process what you do is you go to the optical flow after that on the motion estimation you have to go on enhanced better scaling i will keep it fill and then resize filter i will make it smoother now if i will play it see how good it looks so let me show you before and after this is before and this is after so this is so smooth and it's all ai processing in davinci resolve now we have to create the motion blur at the background so to do that what i'll do is i'll go to the color page and in here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new node and in this node i will come here on the motion effects i'll click on that i will go to motion blur i will make it better and we can see it's kind of normal uh, movement it's not bigger or smaller so i will go on medium and then i will increase it all the way so if i play it now we still know that it's not that much so what i'll do is i'll create one more node i will make it better medium and then one more node better medium and then you can make it as much as you want so if i play it now see the motion blur at the back it looks so good it looks natural and i can increase it more so let me just create three more nodes like this so now you see the motion blur and i can make it speedy or slower so it looks so good so this is how you can create it in DaVinci Resolve if you shot a video on 25 frames per second and you want to create this effect this is how you can do that. I hope this video was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Thank you so much.